Guess what time it is? Well, it's time for an interesting tour into the wild. Animals are an important part of our universe, and it doesn't hurt to get to know them more. Some are easy to name as the ABCs, whereas others simply cannot be figured out. What have we got here? From the pangolin to the elephant shrew, here's a list of 20 wild animals that have rarely ever been seen. Number 20. The pangolin. This, right here, is the world's most trafficked mammal, and it's for good reason. Looking at it, you can already tell there's something unique about the pangolin. Well, the pangolins are mammals, although they were completely covered in scales. They are the largest of all the scaly animals. Their tough scales, which are made of the same material as your hair and fingernails, help to defend them from predators in the wild. When a pangolin is threatened, it covers its head with its front legs, leaving its scales exposed to any prospective predator. If touched or grasped, it wraps up into a tight ball while lashing out with its sharp-tailed scales. The irony of the matter, though, is that these same scales meant to protect the pangolin expose it to the highest kind of risk. I'm talking about poachers now. People use pangolin scales for a lot of things, including traditional medicine and folk treatments. Scientists are releasing footage to raise awareness about these animals' conditions, which are being exacerbated by the illegal scale and meat hunting. This footage gives a glimpse into the life of these giant scaly creatures. We see a baby riding on its mother's back while an adult climbs a tree. If national and international regulations are not passed to safeguard them, all eight pangolin species could go into extinction. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the strange topic. That is a black lion in your face right now. Do you think the closest you come to seeing a black wild cat is the black panther of jaguar? Okay, this blackness in itself is caused by a rare genetic condition where the dark pigment, melanin, is present in excess in an animal. We have never known lions to be associated with this condition, so it, this is quite the catch. Some people have reported seeing this rare species of lion around. For all we know, this might be an extinct species. Animal experts, on the other hand, argue that while there are black-maned lions, completely black ones like this do not exist. Could this be about to change that? Or guys, do you think this is a hoax? Like some kind of digital manipulation? We'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag strange topic and let us know your opinion about where we just showed on screen. And now to the next topic. Number 19. The Seneca White Deer. Deer generally are an exotic sight. How much more a white deer? Far from being a common sight. I mean, many folks are used to white-tailed deers, but completely white ones? That gives you the Seneca deers. These species of deer are rare, but thankfully not endangered. This is so because large amounts of inbreeding happen due to their isolation. Seneca white deer are not albino either, they just have a recessive trait that causes their fur to turn white. This rare herd of deer is found dwelling within the confines of the former Seneca Army Depot in Seneca County, New York, a 10,600-acre depot created in 1941. Of course, it's pertinent that these white deer have a confined home. Due to their visibility, they make for easy prey for hunters and natural foes like coyotes, and such a herd would not survive in the wild. Notwithstanding, the Seneca deers are amazing. If the closest you've ever gotten to a deer is in your Disney movies, sorry you might not relate to any of this. Just don't be from Michigan though, you'd literally have deers up in your state flag. Number 18. The Elephant Shrew I'd be shocked if anyone didn't know what an elephant is. Can't say the same for a shrew. So a shrew is a small insect eating creature that looks like a mouse. Add the two together and you have an elephant shrew. Well, no. Fun fact, elephant shrews, also known as sangis, are neither an elephant nor a shrew. Sangis get their name from Somalia where they were only known before. The Somalia sangi is one of the 20 species now in existence and remains one of the most mysterious to science. Only 39 individuals have been collected and stored in museums over the decades. These creatures just have to be a mystery to everyone though. They are related to the elephant, aardvarks, and manatees but are as little as a shrew. Check out that distinctive trunk-like noses. It's what they use to feast on insects. 
So the last official documentation of an elephant shrew was in the 1970s. Locals, though, have reportedly sighted them a couple of times after then. However, good news came to the scientific community with what a team of scientists found during a research expedition in Djibouti, a country in the Horn of Africa. The team was able to trap not just one, but 12 of these lost species. Nice too that they captured the first ever images and video of the live Somali elephant shrews for scientific documentation. There might just be more elephant shrews hiding away. Number 17. The Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat A wombat is a short-legged, muscular animal about 20 inches high that is native to Australia. It has a thick body with a large head, very tiny eyes, and short, round ears. Wombats are marsupials, which means they are burrowers and they're heavily built for that life. Don't they just look somewhat like dwarf bears or better still badgers? Anyways, there are three wombat species, the common wombat, the northern, and the southern hairy-nosed wombat. The northern hairy-nosed wombat is the rarest. It's in fact one of the rarest animal species in the world. Until the 1930s when 30 of them were discovered in Queensland, northern hairy-nosed wombats were believed to be extinct. There are only 251 of these species left now, living in two colonies in Queensland. You can imagine the joy when the number of northern hairy-nosed wombats was complemented by the arrival of a baby. The baby wombat, actually called a joey, is the Richard Underwood Nature Refuge's first successful arrival in five years. If you care for a tour, the refuge is located near St. Georgetown, Queensland. Number 16. The Yangtze Finless Porpoise Porpoises are whales if you're wondering. They are small-toothed whales with a bluntly rounded snout and a low triangle dorsal fin. The Yangtze, on the other hand, is the longest river in Asia. The Yangtze River has a reputation for housing rarities. One of such is the finless porpoise popular for its mischievous smile. It doesn't exactly smile, it's just the illusion created by the upturned corners of its mouth. This sea creature is recognized as the only freshwater subspecies of the entire family of porpoises that lives only in the Yangtze. It doesn't have dorsal fins on its spine and is gray or grayish white with a lighter color around its abdomen. It's smaller in size but has the same size brain as a dolphin, albeit with intelligence equivalent to that of a gorilla. How amazing! Sadly, its other close relative, Baiji dolphin, was declared functionally extinct in 2006. No thanks to human activities, the same fate might await these smiling whales. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has designated the species as endangered. Currently, the number of Yangtze finless porpoises is declining at a rate of 5% to 10% per year. If things keep going that way, we might lose the entire species in no time. Number 15. Hector's Dolphins Here's another rare wild animal. You've probably never heard or seen it before. They're called Hectors and are among the most endangered species of marine animals. Organizations, fishermen, and officials are putting in earnest effort to protect them so that they don't go into extinction. So Hectors are often mistaken for porpoises because of their short snouts. They're actually dolphins, the smallest and rarest kind ever. You can distinguish them by their short stocky body and distinct black facial markings. Maybe also by their dorsal fin that looks somewhat like a Mickey Mouse ear. Generally, they're about 4 feet long and weigh up to 1,100 pounds. Hectors are exclusive to the shallow coastal waters of New Zealand. They usually move in small groups of about 5 to 8 and make clicking sounds that come off like an organ or a giggle. However, beautiful and chill they look, Hectors are not as social as some of the other dolphins. They would hardly reciprocate your friendliness. So if you ever meet a group of these while sailing or swimming, try to keep a safe distance. Even if they get close up to look at you, don't just throw caution to the wind. Number 14. The Borneo Pygmy Elephant Living on the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia are unique little elephants called Borneo Elephants. They're also named Borneo Pygmy Elephants because they're smaller than their mainland relatives. Pygmy is just a weird synonym for small, by the way. This is suiting as the Bornean elephants are only about 8.2 to 9.8 feet tall. Of the four subspecies of Asian elephants, they have been designated the most endangered. Borneo elephants are fewer than 1,500 individuals and are ironically the largest mammal on the Borneo island. They're recognized by their straighter tusks, long tails that occasionally touch the ground, and huge ears. 
Also, they have a babyish appearance due to their rounder bodies. The origin of these rare cuties has been a scholarly debate. Some scientists suggest that the Borneo pygmy elephants are immigrants. Others say they have lived in the habitat for quite long enough. Still, others opine that they're new settlers. Whatever the case be, they're possible and is sure more important than their beginning. To that effect, World Wildlife Fund WWF, a conservation organization, has been scientifically studying Borneo elephants since 2003. Theirs is a crucial duty as the lives and habitats of these little rare creatures ought to be protected. Number 13. The Black Spotted Cuscus this relatively colorful species is the largest in the family of cuscuses. They are around 120 centimeters in length and weigh up to 6 to 7 kilograms. The black spotted cuscus, native to the forests of northern New Guinea, is not just rare but in severe danger of going extinct. It has been classified as critically endangered already. The drastic decline in their population is majorly due to human intrusion, especially from hunters who are the animal's only known predators. These unique animals have dense and fuzzy red and black fur. The body of the males is mottled, whereas the females are larger and have a consistently dark, saddle-like coloration. Black-spotted cuscuses have yellow and white patches on their undersides. Their head is rounded and they have a short, pointed snout. Additionally, because of how convex their frontal bones are, they have a bulging forehead. One other peculiar thing about these creatures is their characteristic vertically divided pupils which aid their nocturnal lifestyle. In the same vein, their gripping tail and arching front claws are useful because they live in trees. For grasping, black spotted cuscuses primarily use the underside of their tail which is streaked with calluses. Number 12. The Purple Frog if you have always accused frogs of being slimy, weird, and gross creatures, here's one from the clan that might change your mind. This is nothing like any frog you have ever seen before. Plus, you don't even have to worry about it leaping on you because it simply can't. This here is called a purple frog or pignose frog, and it's a one in a century fine. It was first discovered in the Iduki district of Kerala, India. The purple frog is dark purple to grayish in color. This species is characterized by its bloated body and short, sturdy limbs. It has a head that seems undersized for its 7 cm body length and its exceptionally pointed snout. Thanks to their small, muscular forelimbs and rough palms, they can easily burrow underground. These burrowers live near ponds, ditches, and streams, and soil that is soft and well aerated. They come out for some time during the monsoon to mate. Remember we said purple frogs can't leap on you, yeah? That's right, their hind legs are so short that they cannot leap from place to place like a regular frogs we know. Their long strides, though, make up for that, and with it, they can cover any distance. There are just 135 known members of this species, with only three of them being females. Hopefully, our intrusive activities do not send these few to extinction. Number 11. The Hooded Grebe the birds insist on not being left out of the story of rare wild creatures. So here we have one that is not just rare but intriguing. It's called the hooded grebe. This species of birds are thought to number fewer than a thousand individuals and if rescue and conservation efforts are not maintained, they could go into extinction. The hooded grebes, Podioceps galordoi, can be found on the remote basaltic plateaus of southern Patagonia and Argentina where they settle to lay their eggs. They're shaped somewhat like a duck and are about a foot long from head to tail. You can tell them by their white body, the black patches on their back and head, and their scarlet red eyes. They also have this fleck of orange feathers across their forehead, making it look like the bird is wearing a bandana. If you think them cool already, you should wait until you see their interesting courtship behaviors. It's simply unique as we can see in this footage. It's not just two birds dancing. What you see is a courtship ritual that involves the two rare birds mirroring each other's head movements, bobbing and twirling in tandem. More so, the hooded grebes are monogamous birds, so what we see is the beginning of a love story. There are just very few hooded grebes on our planet, so this one finding love is a big deal. Number 10. The Philippine Eagle Meet one of the rarest birds in the world, the Philippine Eagle. Just as the name suggests, this bird of prey is found only on four out of 7,000 islands of the Philippines and nowhere else in the world. 
These birds mostly dwell in virgin primary forests where they prey on animals, build their nests, and care for their young. They are very large birds with very striking looks. They have huge, deep black bills with a slightly bluish hue. Their eyes are pale grayish blue in color while their feet are a jarring neon yellow. It has long brown feathers on its back and short ones on its feet with a contrasting white belly. Despite its majestic build and striking size, this bird of prey might not be able to save itself from the impending doom of extinction. Due to its inability to fly over long distances, the bird has nowhere to go as large portions of its forest island habitat are cut steadily. This has drastically affected a good population of these birds. While adult eagles are driven away from their nests by industrialization and its effects, young eagles are basically have nowhere to go after they leave their parents' territory. Interestingly, the Philippine eagle is an umbrella species and its conservation will have not just one, but multiple benefits. Number 9. The Northern Darwin's Frog You've probably never heard of this species of frog and it's not a surprise because most people haven't either. As a matter of fact, this particular species of frog has not been sighted since the year 1981. In fact, it's currently considered as probably extinct. Factors such as loss of habitat, disease, particularly the chytrid fungus, and climate change have all contributed to pushing this frog into extinction. It has even been listed by IUCN as critically endangered species. A peculiar characteristic of this frog is its mouth brooding ability. This can only be done by the northern Darwin frog and Darwin's frog. The females lay eggs in batches of 12 to 24 on the ground when it is damp. Once the tadpoles start wriggling, the male swallows and carries them into his vocal sac. As soon as their digestive tracts and jaws finish developing, the male releases them into the stream. They dwell in leaf litter found in mixed and temperate forests located from Zapaliar to Bramadias in Chile. Their diet consists of small invertebrates and small insects. Number 8. The Pygmy Three-Toed Sloth This smallest amongst all other three-toed sloths, the Pygmy Sloth measures from 48 0.85 to 53 centimeters and weighs about 2.5 to 3.5 kilograms. It belongs to the Bradypus genus. They are found on just one island, the Isla Escudo de Veraguas, which is situated really close to the Panama mainland. The small stature of this animal is linked to the island dwarfism phenomenon. They are also lonesome animals that only call out loudly to each other when they want to mate. Pygmy sloths dwell on red mangrove trees, eat their leaves, and only descend to pee or poo. Considering their very slow movements, they are fortunate that they can stay for a week without defecating. They can hardly fight predators due to their slowness, so their defense mechanisms include stealth and camouflage. You'd probably not believe it if I told you that sloths can swim, right? Well, get ready to be bamboozled. Pygmy sloths can't just swim, they are good swimmers. It's sad that we don't have more of these badass swimmers, and even sadder that the few in existence are slowly moving into extinction. Yeah, these sloths are an endangered species with a limited population dwelling on just about 1.3 to 1.5 kilometers squared of mangroves on the island. Number 7. The Chacoan Peccary this pig-like animal was considered extinct and studied from fossil records until it was sighted in the western Paraguayan Chaco in the 70s. They also dwell in thorn forest habitat scientifically known as Catagonus wagneri. This species of mammal has a thick coat of fur which looks like bristles and a snout that is longer than that of a normal pig. It feeds basically on plants like fruits, cacti, and bromelade roots. It's also known for spicing up its diet occasionally by preying on small mammals. This species is a territorial herd animal. Peccaries have scent glands positioned on their backs. They mark their territory by rubbing the scent gland against objects in the territory. They are social in nature as they move out in herds that range from one to nine animals and communicate with each other by chattering their teeth and grunting. In addition to their mostly vegetarian diet, these mammals are early risers too as they start their day once it's sunrise and retire around dusk. Unfortunately, peccaries are on their way to extinction. Their existence is threatened by the loss of habitat and excess hunting. This has led to its appearance on the IUCN's list of endangered species, a number of projects to foster 
foster the conservation of this species have also been put in place. Number six, the Rondo Dwarf Galago. The Rondo Dwarf is a very rare primate that you might never have heard of. It's a small-sized primate that measures from 12.3 to 13.7 centimeters and weighs about 60 grams. Like many other primates, the Rondo Dwarf Galago finds it easy to climb trees where it finds a good number of insects which make up its diet. It has a bottle brush tail which is one of its peculiar features and fingers which help. It holds onto tree branches and a particular call. Already an uncommon primate, this species has been listed top 25 on the list of most endangered primates. It's currently a critically endangered species that survives in small patches of forest that are being encroached by charcoal manufacturers, farmers, and loggers. It reproduces only once or twice a year, making it harder for its species to survive. Dwarf galagos build nests in which they use during the day in forest canopies, but they mainly dwell in the understory of dry coastal forests in Tanzania. This particular species is divided into two major subpopulations which do not dwell quite far away from each other. Number five, the Hirola. Currently the last surviving species of the Betragus genus, the Hirola is one very unique and rare creature. Also known as Hunter's Heart Beast, Hirolas thrive in very dry areas. In fact, a number of Hirolas in Savo East National Park located in Kenya merged unscathed after a drought that lasted from 2008 to 2009. Many animals such as rhinos, elephants, and hippos lost their lives in that same drought. Naturally, Hirolas are natives to certain parts of the Kenya-Somalia border. They are not widely known. A number of these species are currently being conserved at Savo National Park to avoid extinction. This was induced by a significant crash when the population of living Hirolas reduced by 90%, leaving only about 350 to 500 animals in the wild. A survey carried out in 2011 showed that the herds in Savo are making slow but steady progress. The complete extinction of these species will result in the loss of the entire mammalian Betragus genus in the entire African continent. The first loss of its kind in the animal world. As a result, no amount of effort put into the conservation of these species will be considered excess. Efforts are welcome to remove it from the list of endangered species. Number 4. Shoebill Stork Shoebill storks are large, valuable birds that are very sensitive. Their eyes are yellow-green and they have a huge bill which is shaped like a shoe. They have wings that span over 8 feet in width, with which they can only take short flights. They are mostly seen in the interior of swamps located in East Africa. There, they are known for perching on water edges for many hours, patiently waiting for a perfect moment to swoop in on unsuspecting fish. They also feed on grown monitor lizards and young crocodiles. They can stand still for long periods while waiting. They move their heads like robots using fast bursts of movement. Shoebill storks are noisy occasionally. This happens when they are communicating with their young or greeting other birds. Unfortunately, these kings of the marshes are valuable and in high demand resulting in their status as an endangered species. Due to their high sensitivity, they die regularly while in captivity or en route with other captors. There are also only very few known cases of successful breeding of chicks in captivity. As a result of this, more birds are captured to replace the ones that die in captivity. The second cause of their progression to extinction is the loss of habitat caused by the encroachment of farmers and oil explorers in the marshes. Number three, the banded ground cuckoo. Although existing in the foothills of the Chaco rainforest located in South America, this fast bird has only been seen by a few people. Despite nesting on the ground, the cuckoo evades sight due to its speed. Wildlife photographers relate how it can always be heard, but hardly ever seen. These ground birds are quite large in size, but this doesn't deter their speed in any way. With their long and gnarly legs, they move quickly through the forest grounds escaping human sight. Their feathers, which are a mixture of white, black, and chestnut, also help conceal them from sight. They normally follow a moving swarm of army ants and use their large beaks to munch on both the ants and other insects disturbed in the process.
Loss of habitat is a major cause of the rarity of the species. Due to intense and continuous deforestation, these birds are rendered homeless. Some of them are forced to make do with patches of forest. However, that is not ideal as their staple food, which is army ants, can only be found in dense forests where they thrive. As a result of the steady decline in their population, there are currently less than 2,000 branded ground cuckoos left and this calls for urgent conservation procedures. Number 2. The Large-Toothed Sawfish now on the list of rare and endangered species, the large-toothed sawfish might only be recognized by kids from the 1950s. Formerly a common sight for Tanzanian fishermen, these amazing marine fish are now amongst the most threatened animals. Being true to the survival of the fittest theory, the sawfish used to be an easy catch for fishermen as its rostrum, which looks like a saw blade, easily got entangled with fishermen's nets. Loss of habitat is also a major factor contributing to its rarity. Due to changes in the ecosystem, the number of species of sawfish which used to be found in about 90 countries has declined. They survive the most in northern Australia. Fortunately, foundations have been set up for the conservation of this fish and sawfish experts who work with these bodies have traced the species from New York and Texas where they were formerly found to a part of Florida where they are restricted. Also, repeated sights of baby large-toothed sawfish were reported by a local fisherman in Tanzania. Sawfish experts working on the conservation of this particular species in Tanzania might in the end be able to find sawfish in East Africa leading to a reversal in this seeming extinction. Number 1. The Chinese Giant Salamander Stretching over four and a half feet and up to some inches shy of six feet, the Chinese giant salamander is the largest amphibian in the whole world. It's known for growing as long as men, and its adults weigh over 100 pounds. This rare animal, which is scientifically known as Andreas davidianus, can be sighted in some rivers located in Chinese highlands. They feed on a broad diet of frogs, insects, and fish. They can barely see with their very tiny eyes, which is in no way equivalent to their large size. So they depend on their very sensitive skin, which has an abundance of sensory notes to sense vibrations while hunting for prey. In addition to their skin, their sense of smell also helps them perceive prey. Considering the hundreds of eggs which females lay during reproduction, it is quite a surprise that these giants are currently considered among the species that are headed for extinction. Unfortunately, several forces including loss of habitat, overexploitation, and diseases keep pushing it in that direction. Also, the status as a Chinese delicacy has led to millions of these same species being farmed in Chinese industrial farms for food. Foundations have been set up to protect this species from extinction and progress is being made gradually. So, did you enjoy the tour into the wild? Which piqued your interest the most? By the way, have you seen any of these rare species? Tell us about it. Make sure to check out our other cool stuff showing up on your screen right now. Till next time, see ya.